we got to focus, of course, on NA. Yesterday, your mm. confidence, my friend, my good buddy, my pal, you were at an all-time high. You were loving. You were singing from the rooftops. You had a swagger in your step. You were dancing. You were jiving. You were grooving. And today, it all paid off, man. Oh, yeah. It, it was, was beautiful. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. Uh, Oceana, thanks for coming out. Good try, kid. <laughs> Come back next Worlds. Get another chance in North America. I want to, for everything I said about LGD, I want to reverse that time out team liquid where they picked the most boring standard composition you could possibly think of with this team. Oriana. You have, you know, Broxa on the Graves, which is one of the most meta picks in the, in the current meta when it's left open. It's a good farming jungler. It's perfect for Broxa outside of the Lee Sin. You have Orn. Boring as can be with impact. Stay in the top lane, make your items, farm, leave them alone. You have Ash in the bottom lane of Furkan. So boring, so standard, nothing special, but it's how they execute this lineup where, where Legacy comes in, they throw in the Ziggs bottom lane, they throw in these surprises, they try to do these things, they try to you know gank early with Tapoon and Bob Biff in the top lane of Impact. Impact laughs at them. Impact clears his wave, the legacy team can't do anything and Limpact last, unfazed. And that's what I want to just really grasp with Team Liquid say is that it wasn't super flashy. It wasn't the most exciting game ever. It wasn't as pretty or fun as No Man's, you know, getting 10 plus kills on the Cassin or even Super Massive and Armut and how beautifully they team fought in their wins. It was business, Arda. They are on a business mission. This is not a team that's here to make a name for themselves in the play-in stage. Jensen was in the MSI Finals last year. Broxa was in the 2018 World Finals. Core JJ, World Champion. Impact, World Champion. Tactical, new, but he is buying into this, you know, this system that Core JJ and the rest of the teams have set on Team Liquid. They're not here for the play-ins. They're here for a higher purpose. And this play-in stage isn't for them to screw around you know, have big kills, go on a 15 kill, you know, uh, a streak, have these highlight plays. They're here to stomp the teams that they need to stomp, get their 4 0, check their ticket to the main event, and start working towards a knockout spot. Because this team has higher goals than just making the group stage. And I love how they came in today, boring comp, nothing special, never sweated versus Legacy, and stomped them clean off the map. It was like a heavyweight boxer beating up the paper boy. It was a slobber. It was it was a it was a mollywop. It was a mollywop, Arda. It was an embar- it, it was a really really beautiful show. And I'm not saying this is gonna you know carry over to world uh, to the main event. I still think they play a bit too slow. I think they'll need to you know show some new things. This boring composition is not gonna work against the Damons or the JDs of the world. But I like their business like attitude. Let's not show too much. Let's smash the teams that we need to smash, and let's go forward. Well, they've all but solidified the fact that they will, in fact, be moving on to the next round at the very least. It's not mathematically locked in, but it's pretty much a formality that they're going to be moving on at least to the next round of play uh, in the play-ins. But I like this three-piece suit, conference uh, boardroom, Mm. Team Liquid, no nonsense, get stuff done. I like it. I like this. Exactly. I like this. That's the way that NA needs to be. Because for too long, Tyler, and you know this, you've been covering League of Legends for 48 years now. Oh, yeah. Okay? Mm. For too long, North America has been the laughing stock of the world. Okay? And for people who are watching this program, because you have two NA people on it right now, (laughs) and the foremost authority of NA League of Legends analysis in Tyler Erzberger and waiting to hear what he has to say, he deserves to dunk on all of you right now, okay? This man right here deserves this moment in the spotlight. NA deserves their moment in the spotlight. We deserve it, Tyler. Let's wait until main event. Let's wait a minute. It's been two days. I'm I'm, I'm very confident. I'm very optimistic about North America. I love what Team Liquid are doing. But just like Team Liquid... We're supposed to be Oceana. They're supposed to beat these teams handily, and they're supposed to move on. Mad Lions and LGD, not so much, but we're going to get into that very soon.